Hey, welcome. My name is Jeremy, and this is my niece, Darcy. Hi. And my nephew, Keith. Hi. And we are here to Hi. illustrate and show an object lesson about Jesus and his yep. death and his resurrection, because today is what? Easter. Easter. Today is Easter. And I brought with me a tea bag. Tea bag? Yes. Hold it up, hold it up to their tea. Sure you are. <laughs> yeah, I drank kombucha once. This is what I had to work with, guys. Okay, so the tea bag actually is a beautiful illustration on Jesus and what he did for us. The tea bag works. So if you want to try it too, you can grab a tea bag and I'll walk you through everything. Now, on every tea bag, there's this little paper, right? Yeah. We call this a label. Yeah. Now, the label is a perfect reminder that when Jesus was nailed to the cross, they put a sign above the cross. And they labeled him, and they said he was the king of the Jews. And so the tea bag label is a reminder of that. So we're going to put that right here. And the string is a reminder on how Jesus was punished, and he was whipped. So the string reminds us of a whip. So Jesus was whipped and punished because of our sins. The airy tea bag also has a staple in it to hold it together. So I'm going to pull the staple out. And who wants to think of what the, who wants to take a guess on what the staple is? Go for it. I think he just got hurt. Well, he did. Keith, do you know? Um, I think, um, he, um, that... Well, the staple represents how Jesus was nailed oh, yeah. to a cross. So they, they took a cross and they nailed Jesus' hands and his feet to wood, to a tree. And the staple reminds us that Jesus was nailed to the cross. Now, every tea bag has tea, right? Yeah, the tea So bag we are going to put the tea in Oh, it's in my mind. No, it's flat. And go it's, ahead. it's floating. Stir? Go ahead and stir it up. I you probably should think... use hot water for this and a smaller spoon, but that's okay. Yep, okay. That's probably good, Keith. It's starting to work a little. Alright, you're good. Let's hold it there. So the the tea, you know how it's dark in color yeah. and it changes the color of the water. Well, the tea represents him, our sin, and how our sin is dark and black. What is a sin? That's a great question, Darcy. Sin is Keith. Do you know? Uh, uh, when we do something bad. Sin is anything that God tells us not to do and we still do it. So like sin, that. it would be, would like lying, would that be a sin? Yes. Would stealing My be brother, a sin? Yes. My brother would, lies all the time. Oh, and, and I bet you never lie, do you? Mm, sometimes. Yeah, okay, good. But because, guess what? what? Everyone has sinned. Mm -hmm. Right? Everyone. And that's what this represents. It represents sin. Mm -hmm. Now, this tea bag is going to represent Jesus. And what happened was Jesus was put into a tomb. He died. <laughs> and then and three... they wrapped him in a cloth. Oh, yeah. If and I then, can mommy, get this to stand. It's kind of like a mummy. Oh, here we go. Now, and then three... three days later, what happened? Um, He came Fine. back from the dead. That's right. And what this is going to represent is how Jesus raised from the dead. And watch what happens play? here. Watch what happens. Jesus raised from the dead. Wasn't that That's kind of so cool? cool? There you go. So Jesus died. He raised from the dead. And now Jesus is in heaven. And one day he's going to return and as long as we believe that Jesus took our sin, as long as we believe that Jesus died and was punished for our sin, we can spend eternity with him. Wait, so he's going to come back? He's going to come back. Oh. It would be amazing. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining us. 
And that wraps up our lesson for today.